Francine Prose, Reading Like a Writer, a guide for people who love books and for those who want to write them. Discover the secrets to engaging with literature and improving your writing in A Reading Like a Writer, a guide for people who love books and for those who want to write them. This summary will help you acquire a profound understanding of the literary techniques employed by the great masters, allowing you to appreciate the subtleties that lie beneath the surface of written text. Learn how to slow down and appreciate the literary gems hidden in plain sight, as well as how to develop an eye for detail that will enhance your own writing. The Art of Slow Reading As we grow up, we tend to skim read to save time, but this habit can lead us to miss out on the most important aspects of literature. By slowing down and paying closer attention to patterns and subtext, we can improve our experience of the text and learn from the great masters who wrote them. The article suggests that by finding one clue, such as a recurring motif, readers can uncover hidden meaning and enrich their reading experience. The Power of Word Choice in Fiction Writing The importance of word choice in creating compelling characters and stories is explored in this article. The author examines how writers carefully select every word in their works, which affect the overall impact of their stories. The article shows how even the first few words of a novel can reveal a lot about the characters and the plot, as seen in Flannery O'Connor's A Good Man is Hard to Find. It also highlights the significance of using language that fits the character's personality, such as James Joyce's use of, literally, in the dead to show the perspective of Lily, the caretaker's daughter. Ultimately, this article shows how writers use specific and meaningful language to create immersive and engaging stories. Secrets of Beautiful Sentences The art of crafting sentences that captivate the reader lies not in complexity but in simplicity, rhythm, and musicality. Heinrich von Kleist's clear and concise sentence structure, illustrated in his short story, The Earthquake in Chile, offers an example of how pared-down language can still convey rich, thought-provoking ideas. Similarly, James Joyce's use of repetition and half-rhymes in The Dead creates a mellifluous, almost hypnotic effect. The secret to truly beautiful sentences is in striking a balance between clarity, concision, and musicality. Power of Paragraphs The way we structure our paragraphs can reveal a lot about our writing style. Despite being highly individualized, there are some general guidelines that can help us make the most of the power of paragraphing. The length of each paragraph is crucial in sustaining breathing and keeping a good rhythm. We shouldn't have overly long paragraphs that might feel overwhelming or too many short ones that break the rhythm. Instead, we should aim for a balance of paragraph length, which can be seen as shots in a film, that slowly zoom in from a bird's eye view of a story setting to the protagonist to create emphasis. Different narration styles in writing. Writing through narration styles requires understanding strengths, challenges, and their impact on readers. Narration styles play a significant role in writing impacting the reader's perspective and the story's plot's depth. The most popular and flexible options for narration are first-person and third-person perspectives. Each of these styles comes with its strengths and challenges that require a writer's detailed consideration. Once the story's perspective is identified, the narrator's attitude and tone should reflect the perspective. The first-person narration style requires writers to create interesting, not necessarily likable, personalities that keep the reader intrigued and engrossed throughout the text. The narrator's tone and personality play a significant role in making the readers stick around, regardless of the personality's likability. For example, Vladimir Nabokov's Lolita's narrator, Humbert Humbert, is a sexually obsessed individual. Still, his delirious and intriguing mutterings draw the reader's attention towards a more in-depth understanding of this strange mind. On the other hand, the third-person narrator is a background figure, a fly on the wall, who shines a spotlight on characters, maintaining a detached, objective, and unobtrusive voice. However, this narration style has the potential to hint at a curious personality. Jane Bowles's Two Serious Ladies perfectly crafts the narrator's formal and childish tones, giving the impression of a gifted yet kooky child behind the story. 
The narrative voice's entry keeps the readers engaged and leaves an impact on them. Overall, a writer's choice of narration style is a foundational decision that builds the story's depth and the reader's experience. Knowing and utilizing the strengths and challenges of different narration styles can have a powerful impact on the final outcome. Unforgettable Characters In literature, great characters are brought to life in different ways. Some authors define their characters through their actions, while others reveal their innermost thoughts and feelings. Dialogue is another powerful tool for revealing a character's true nature. The ability to create unforgettable characters is essential to great writing. The power of realistic details. To make a story convincing, both liars and writers use realistic details. Adding seemingly trivial yet specific aspects, like a 10-year-old Volvo or a unique physical gesture, can make a tale feel authentic and create characters as real as the people in your life. This demonstrates how authors create an immersive fictitious world for readers to lose themselves in. In summary, Francine Prose's Reading Like a Writer teaches book lovers and aspiring writers how to truly appreciate literature and develop their own voice. By learning how to slow down and meticulously dissect texts, readers are able to uncover deeper layers of meaning in a story. Paying attention to word choice, phrasing, and literary techniques used by the great masters not only helps the reader to better understand the intricacies of writing, but also allows them to improve their own skills. This summary is a roadmap for both enhancing your reading experience and honing your own writing craft.